Well, since our um, Friday game tomorrow's in the afternoon, I need to do my picks today as it's now time for my week 16 picks of the 2020 NFL season. As last week, I went 11-5. Sucks I regressed from the previous week. I was so close since the Monday night game ruined it for me. Hopefully I can do better this week. And of course, here is the regular season playoff stands of the season of the day. And the AFC, the Chiefs had the bye with Dolphins at Bills. Colts at Steelers and Browns at Titans. And the NFC is the Packers with the bye with Cardinals at Saints, Buccaneers at Seahawks, and Rams at the football team. So now, let's get to my Week 16 picks as we start off with our Thursday night game tomorrow on um, Friday instead as the Vikings are at the Saints for the first time since 2014, the wild card rematch from last year. As the Vikings won the last one, the Saints haven't beaten them since 2014, and the Vikings haven't won down the Superdome since 2008. As the Vikings try to avoid their first losing season since 2014, and if they lose or the Cardinals win, they will be eliminated from the playoffs. Meanwhile, the Saints, if they win or the Buccaneers lose, they will clinch the NFC South for the fourth year in a row, which, God, how many weeks has it been since they were able to do that, like three or four weeks, and they still haven't done it yet? That's pretty bad. So the Vikings blew it last week against the Bears as they now lost two in a row on the verge of getting eliminated from the playoffs. Remember just two weeks ago when they actually were in the wild card at the season ended that day? Incredible how much time has changed since then. And the Saints just could not hold on to beat the Chiefs. So the Vikings, you see, they really shat the bed lately. So have the Saints. In fact, they've both lost two in a row. Not looking good for them. As the Saints want to get their revenge from their wild card loss last year. I'm picking the Saints to win this, but hey, watch, they'll choke, and the Vikings get it. So then we get to our Saturday games as we start off with the Buccaneers at the Lions for the second year in a row. As the Buccaneers won the last one, the Lions haven't beaten them since 2017 and 2014 in four field. And the Buccaneers, if they win or the Bears lose, they will clinch their first playoff berth since 2007. Second longest drought in the league. And of course, the Lions have been eliminated. The Buccaneers, once again, the Falcons choked again. Well, the 24 7 lead at one point, and they still couldn't win it. This is just their year to choke. And the Lions, God, oh, that's right, they got steamrolled by the Titans, which, are we surprised about that? So, of course, last year, the Buccaneers won in an offensive blowout. Remember, Jameis Winston put up, like, what, four touchdowns or five touchdowns, like over 400 yards, something like that. Really incredible numbers. I'm picking the Buccaneers to do it, but hey, watch the Buccaneers will once again, like, somehow choke it or something like that. And then, of course, we get to our next Saturday game as the 49ers are at the Cardinals. Cardinals won the last one. The 49ers haven't beaten them since 2019, and the Cardinals haven't won in Glendale against the 49ers since 2018, as the 49ers are already eliminated, and the Cardinals are trying to get their first win in season since 2015. If they win or the Bears lose, they will clinch their first playoff spot since 2015, so a lot on the line. And that is, I think, the fourth longest drought in the league. Hard to believe the fourth longest drought was only five years ago. So, of course, the 49ers got eliminated when they lost to the Cowboys, and they got crushed, like I predicted, and the Cardinals... Hard-fought game against the Eagles just held on to get the win to get their first non-losing season since 2017. I'm picking the Cardinals for this one, but hey, don't underestimate the 49ers. Then we get to our last Thursday night game of the year as the Dolphins are at the Raiders for the first time since 2014. As the Dolphins won the last one, the Raiders haven't beaten them since 2017, and they haven't beaten them at home since 1996 when they were back in Oakland. As the Dolphins, no way they can clinch a playoff spot this week. But the Raiders, if they lose to the Dolphins, they are eliminated. Or if the Ravens win too. If they lose or if the Ravens win, they will be eliminated. So they have to win on Saturday to have any sort of chance of still remaining in the playoffs. Or if they lose, they are done. So the Dolphins beat the Patriots and ended their um, playoff streak and um, winning record streak too. As the Raiders choked again against the Chargers. Remember when they were 6-3 and three just a few weeks ago? And now they're 7-7 seven, seven cents when they should honestly be 6-8 and eight because the Jets employed? Yeah. I Like I've been saying all year, they're just inconsistent, not trustable. As their defense is dog shit. Dolphins offense is dog shit too. It's just who you trust more. 
And honestly, after that, I think I might pick the Raiders for this one. But hey, I guess I won't be surprised if they choke against the Dolphins. So far, everyone I pick, I'm not fully confident in them yet. Alright, then we get to our Sunday games. As we start off with the Browns at the Jets for the second year in a row. As the Browns won the last two. The Jets haven't beaten them since 2017. And they haven't beaten them in East Rutherford since 2015. As the Browns, if they win and the Ravens and Dolphins lose, or at least one of them, I mean to say, they will be in the playoffs for the first time since 2002, ending the longest drought in the league. How about that? We can have two of the longest droughts ended this few days. That's insane. And then the Jets, well, the Browns, I mean to say, they beat the Giants last week on Sunday night. How about that? Back-to-back -back weeks in New York. And then the Jets, congratulations! I knew you were going to finally win. It's hard to believe you beat the Rams, though. Quite impressive, too, I must say, to beat a near playoff team like that. So, of course, will the Browns destroy the Jets like they did last Monday, last year on Monday night, remember, week two? I would not underestimate the Jets, Browns. I mean, they, after all, they did just beat the Rams. But I'm going to pick you to still get it. But don't underestimate them. Remember, that playoff spot is right there. Win it, hope the Dolphins or Ravens lose, and then secure it. And then it's the Giants at the Ravens for the first time since 2012. As the Giants won the last one, the Ravens haven't won since 2012, and the Giants have never beaten the Ravens in Baltimore. As the Giants, if they lose and the football team wins, they are eliminated from the playoffs. And the Ravens, no playoff berth yet they can clinch, but they need to win out to have any shot to get in. As the Giants, remember when they were 5-7 and seven after they beat the Seahawks, embarrassed them, and like, oh my goodness, they actually might have a chance to win the division. Yeah, no. How about getting crushed by the Cardinals and Browns back-to-back -back weeks? And now you gotta play the Ravens. And of course, the Ravens destroyed the Jaguars, which no one expected. I mean, no one was surprised by me to say. I'm picking the Ravens for this, obviously. And of course, maybe they would celebrate their 20th anniversary of their Super Bowl 35 win against the team they beat, too. That would be pretty funny. Then it's the Bengals at the Texans for the first time since 2016. As the Texans won the last three, the Bengals haven't beaten them since 2014. <clears throat> as the Bengals, what an impressive victory against the Steelers as they choked again against a terrible team like we always knew they would eventually. And the Texans, oh, they had the chance against the Colts, but they just couldn't secure it. Between two bad teams, I'm picking the Texans as I trust... Then with Deshaun Watson, more than I trust the Bengals. That was a very impressive Monday night game, but I don't think you're going to continue that the next week. <clears throat> Alright, next. Next up is Bears and Jaguars for the first time since 2012. As the Bears try to get their second straight non-losing season. No, third straight. Jaguars won the last one. Bears haven't beaten them since 2002. I mean, 2012. And they haven't beaten them in Jacks. No, the Jaguars haven't beaten the Bears in Jacksonville since 2004. As the Bears, hey, how about that? After losing six in a row, now they won two in a row and still hanging in there. But, of course, if they lose or the Cardinals win, they will be eliminated from the playoffs. Or at least if they lose, they'll definitely be eliminated and the Cardinals win. So the, ja and the um, Jaguars, of course, got crushed by the Ravens. No one was surprised by that. And the Bears held on to beat the Vikings as they now won two in a row after losing six in a row. Hmm... <laughs> Between a terrible team and a team that is overrated in terms of record, they should not be 7-7 the way they've been playing. I'm probably going to pick the Bears because they just have more talent on them than the Jaguars. But hey, you never know. Maybe the Jaguars could pull off another win, just like the Jets won last week. Then it's the Falcons at the Chiefs for the first time since 2012. As the Chiefs won the last one, the Falcons haven't beaten them since 2012, and the Chiefs haven't beaten them in Kansas City since 2004. The Chiefs, if they win... What the Steelers lose, they will clinch home field advantage for the first time since 2018. It's all right there, a win or Steelers loss. As the Falcons, once again, how many times can you lose huge late leads in a game? As the Falcons did it again against the Buccaneers. And the Chiefs continue to like hold on to just beat teams as they continue like, I believe now, yeah, I think it is the longest streak now, nine wins in a row or something like that. I'm picking the Chiefs to get this one. And then a big AFC matchup as the Colts are at the Steelers for the second year in a row. As the Steelers won the last six, the Colts haven't beaten them since 2008. So, for the Steelers, I know it's off the top of my head. If they win 
or the Browns lose, they will clinch the AFC North for the first time since 2017. And for the Colts, if they win and the Ravens and Dolphins lose, or at least one of them, they will clinch a playoff spot for the first time since 2018. So the, the um, Colts held on to beat the Texans again, and the Steelers... Ah! I mean, we, we, we were going to make fun about the Rams losing to the Jets later on, but honestly, I think that's the way the Steelers played last night. That was even more embarrassing. You got crushed by the Bengals like that? What the fuck is now? They've lost three in a row now, and now they're on the verge, honestly, of maybe going 11-5 and not even winning the NFC North. Remember after they started 11-0? They're giving me the exact same vibes like the 1986 Jets where they start off 10-1 and and then they lost all the remaining games and just barely sneaking the playoffs, although they made pretty far that year. I was pro This game, I was really um, confused about how I'd pick for out most of the year since both of them were pretty good, but after seeing how the Steelers have played last Monday night, and they've now lost three in a row. I have no choice. I have to pick the Colts for this. Maybe if the Steelers won or won convincingly, I probably would have picked them. But right now, got to pick the Colts for this one. And then we get to our 4 p.m. games. As it's the Broncos at the Chargers. As the Broncos won the last three. The Raiders, you know, um, Chargers haven't won since 2018. And they haven't won at home since 2017 against the Broncos. As they're both trying to lose, I mean, miss... Um, not have 10 losses as the Broncos hold on to try not have a worse record than last year. As the Broncos got absolutely crushed by the Bills. And how about that? Now the Chargers won two in a row now. How about that? Good for them. Close games too. Maybe they have some momentum going into next year possibly. And I'm going to pick the Chargers for this. But watch, they're going to choke again like they always do throughout the year. Then it's the Panthers at the football team for the first time since 2018. How about that? Ron Rivera going up against his former team, finally. As the football team won the last two, the Panthers haven't beaten them since 2016. As the Panthers have already been eliminated. As they lost to the Packers a close one last Saturday, unfortunately for them. And the football team, hard-fought game, but just could not beat the Seahawks. And if the football team wins and the Giants lose... They will clinch a playoff spot in the NFC East for the first time since 2015, ending one of the longer, I mean, the um, fourth longest drought in the league. So how about that? I'm picking the football team for this one because I don't really trust the Panthers, especially, especially since I'm sure I wouldn't be surprised if Riviere has something up his sleeve against his former team. And then we get to a big NFC West matchup as the Rams are at the Seahawks. The Rams won the last two. Seahawks haven't won since 2019, and the Rams haven't beaten them in Seattle since 2018. So the Seahawks clinched the um division. I'm um, not the division. They clinched a the playoff spot last week, first time since 2016. If they beat the Rams this Saturday on um, Sunday, they will clinch the NFC West for the first time since 2016. And of course, if the Rams, if they win, they will clinch a playoff spot for the first time since 2018. So they need to get that. Or if, a, if the um, Bears lose too. If the Bears lose or they win, they still get it. So the um, Seahawks held on to beat the football team to put himself in a very good position to win the division because the Rams choked against the Jets. I kept telling you all eventually the Jets would win. I don't believe they were going to go 0-16 and they somehow did against one of the teams I did not think they were going to win. That was embarrassing Rams. It looked like to me they had a, the Rams had a very good shot to win the division. Now they're on the verge of losing it. Oh my god, that's pretty sad, and I'm going to pick the Seahawks to get this one. But watch, as always, the Rams will somehow pull it off in the end. And then we get to the Eagles at the Cowboys. As the Eagles won the last two, the um, Cowboys haven't won since 2019. The Eagles haven't won in Arlington since 2017. So, both teams are still in it, but if either one of them lose, or more importantly, if the football team wins, both of them will be eliminated. So it doesn't matter who, whoever wins this. If the football team wins, they're done. So they better hope the Panthers pull it off. They have any shot to still remain in the playoffs. So the Eagles lost a close one to the Cardinals as Jalen Hurst is playing spectacularly well. And how about that? The Cowboys, after they got crushed by the Ravens and then the football team on Thanksgiving, now they've won two in a row and pretty convincingly. So, hey, maybe... They're, even though it's really late in the year, and if the, pan, Reds, the um, football team wins, it's going to be all for nothing. But maybe they're just holding on, hoping for a shot to win it still. I don't think it's going to happen, though, as the Eagles are playing much better with Jalen Hurts. So I'm picking the Eagles for this. Then we get to Sunday night, a huge one, 
as the Titans are at the Packers for the first time since 2004, our conference championship runner-up rematch. How about that? Because remember, these two were almost made to the Super Bowl last year. Titans won the last one. Packers haven't beaten them since 2012. And the Titans haven't beaten them in Lambeau since 2004. So, the Packers. If they win and the Saints and possibly needing the Seahawks to lose too, they will clinch home field advantage for the first time since 2011. And the Titans. If they win and the Dolphins lose... Well, actually, if they win, they probably would still have it regardless if they have the tiebreak over the Ravens. They will clinch a playoff spot for the second year in a row. All right, so the Titans beat, destroyed the Lions. Who would, was surprised about that? I most certainly wasn't. And the Packers beat the Panthers just barely, too. Once again, just like the previous year when they played them. This one, oh boy, this is going to be insane what's going to happen. This could probably be an offensive shootout. It's going to be insane. But I think I trust the Packers more than the Titans because the Titans have been a lot more inconsistent than them. But I won't be surprised if the Titans pull it off, but I'm trusting the Packers more. And then we get to our final Monday night game of the year. As the Bills are at the Patriots. As the Bills won the last one, Patriots haven't beaten them since 2019. And the Bills haven't beaten them in Foxborough since 2016. As now for the Bills. Now, everywhere says they've won the division for the first, uh, first time since 1995, but... I have no idea how because I've looked up the um, tiebreakers. Everywhere I've seen the tiebreakers shows the Dolphins still have a chance to tie it up. I have not seen a tiebreaker where the Dolphins have no chance to beat. So I don't know how everywhere says that they've won it. Unless someone could show me the exact tiebreaker because everywhere I've shown, I mean, I've looked up shows that no, they have not clinched it yet. But if they win or the Dolphins lose, then they definitely will. So I'm going to say they're not winning the division yet unless proven otherwise as they try to get their first division title since 1995. And if the Patriots lose, they'll have their first losing season since 2000. Hard to believe, too. They're not only missing the playoffs for the first time since 2008, but not even having a winning record since 2000. God, that's insane. I was seven when this last happened, for God's sake. So the Bills crushed the Broncos as they're getting closer to winning win um, the division, even though it's already been claimed they did. And also, if they win, and the Steelers, and possibly the Browns, and Titans too, to be, yeah, they would need to win, and they would need a Steelers, no, not Steelers, a Titans loss, and a Browns loss to be saved. They can clinch the second seed. So it's a lot on the line for them to get. And of course, the Patriots lost to the Dolphins last time out, as they are eliminated from the playoffs. And honestly, this might sound crazy, but for an upset, I'm going to pick the Patriots for this, because remember... The Patriots almost beat the Bills back in, almost in November when they last played? It was right there for them. They just choked in the end. I wouldn't be surprised in the rematch. They get it this time. So I'm going to pick the Patriots in an upset to get and watch. They're going to choke and not get it. But hey, they might just do it in the end too. All right. So those are my picks for week 16. I cannot wait for Vikings at Saints tomorrow. So my picks, Saints beat the Dom Vikings. Buccaneers over Lions, Cardinals over 49ers, Raiders over Dolphins, Browns over Jets, Ravens over Giants, Texans over Bengals, Bears over Jaguars, Chiefs over Falcons, Colts over Steelers, Chargers over Broncos, football team over the Panthers, Seahawks over the Rams, Eagles over Cowboys, Titan, no, Packers over the Titans, and the Patriots over the Bills. And my Week 17 picks will be on Tuesday, so remember that. So tune in next time for that.